Thank you for joining us on this month's edition of Health Matters. I'm Dr. Mark Castellaw. Did you know that cancer is a very devastating illness and that one in four people in the United States are diagnosed with cancer? And unfortunately, 1.6 million people die from cancer in the United States. So we need to be more proactive in prevention and screening for cancer. In today's program, we're going to talk about two specific screening tests, colonoscopies and mammograms, to try to help educate you about these tests and to find out when they're indicated. We're going to have specialists on the show, and we're going to have patients that have undergone these procedures to explain their experience. So I hope this will be a very educational show to you. We will try to answer any questions that you have about these screening procedures, and remember, your health matters. Our first guest today on Health Matters is Dr. Stephen Edge. Our program today is about cancer and cancer screening. Dr. Edge is the president of BMG Oncology Division and he's the director of the Baptist Cancer Center. Welcome Dr. Edge. Well thank you for having me today. Tell us what kind of opportunities that BMG gives patients with uh, oncology issues. Well, over the last two years, um, BMG and the Baptist Health System have formed a formal cancer center which brings together doctors of multiple disciplines, uh, surgeons, medical oncologists, radiation oncologists, plus many supporting staff from nursing, um, genetic services, um, physical therapy, uh, and many others to provide an integrated program to allow complete care of the entire patient with cancer so that individuals can now get their complete consultation and services through a unified uh, group of physicians and colleagues pro uh, providing um, not only the best available cancer care but also the support that people need when they're struck with this disease. Now BMG uh, has different locations for this oncology. What, what are those? Well absolutely. We have um, uh, many, many different sites around not just Memphis but the entire region. We are um, in the process of planning and building a um, interdisciplinary cancer center building right on the Memphis East campus. Uh, but in addition, we have uh, physician practices and uh, sites all throughout the metropolitan area, both in the uh, East Memphis area um, and across uh, Bartlett, down into DeSoto. Um, further, the Baptist Cancer Center has sites across the entire region from Jonesboro down to Oxford and Golden Triangle. Well, our program today is about cancer screening. How important it is to have cancer screening with patients? Well, um, cancer uh, is uh, a disease that can slowly grow and progress, and it's been clearly demonstrated for many different cancer types that doing certain examinations and tests detects those cancers at an earlier stage of the disease when treatment is more effective. Uh, the primary example that many people have even forgotten is about cancer screening is pap test, pap smear testing for cervical cancer. In the 1940s and 50s, this was a deadly disease for young women, and screening for pap, with pap smears didn't eliminate the problem, but it completely changed the face of this problem. The same thing is true for colon cancer now. Through cancer screening with colonoscopy and with blood testing in the stool, we can dramatically reduce the rate of developing the more deadly forms of advanced colon cancer. So we will completely change the face of colon cancer. And breast cancer? Uh, breast cancer is also one of, those, uh, one of those cancers where early screening helps. That early screening is primarily mammography. Mammography clearly reduces the chance for uh, uh, individuals of ultimately dying from breast cancer. Unfortunately, mammography is not a perfect technology, and it needs to be supplemented by physical examination with your doctor and with self-examination. And still, it's not perfect, but it is clear that doing mammograms on a regular basis, starting at age 40, reduces the chance of a woman's dying of breast cancer. Other than colon and breast cancer, are there any other sort of routine cancer screening tests that people should have when they have their annual physical? Well, we talked about pap smear, te pap, pap testing for women. Women should be screened on a regular basis for cervical cancer. Uh, breast, colon, 
Uh, and the other is uh, prostate cancer screening with uh, regular physical examination and PSA testing for men. Now there's been an awful lot of controversy about PSA testing, but I think the, I think the, uh, the general consensus is that uh, men of the age when they can get more aggressive uh, cancers, uh, particularly Caucasian men over age uh, 50, and, and African American men where, pre where prostate cancer may be A, occur in younger, younger ages, and B, uh, may be more deadly, uh, should get screening at an earlier age. Do you think uh, insurance companies are starting to come around to embrace uh, and cover these screening procedures? Actually, yes. Most insurance companies cover screening services outside of any other programs for deductible. For example, our insurance uh, for employees at Baptist, while we have a new high deductible plan like many people around the United mm -hmm. States, um, those uh, screening services are covered outside of those deductibles and covered for free. Uh, my wife just had a colonoscopy done, and while we're paying the high deductible for other services she had, that was 100% covered. So yes, most insurance companies uh, understand and are covering screening services for cancer. And I think that's very important for our viewers to understand, and because that's sometimes one of the stumbling blocks in getting these tests done, is that there's a financial issue and a financial burden. So that's very important mm -hmm. news yeah. uh, about the insurance coverage regarding screening tests. Absolutely. What are some other things that's happening at BMG uh, regarding oncology? Well. Um, we're doing a number of things to evaluate how care is given and improve the way care is given. Um, uh, uh, research into how we deliver cancer care is critical because the current system where patients get referred from doctor to doctor, it works well, but we can do better by integrating those services to have the doctors work much more closely in teams of doctors rather than just as individual doctors. One of our uh, um, um, chemotherapy medical oncology doctors actually has a major national research grant specifically to study integration of cancer delivery services for people with lung cancer. Dr. Osara Giagban has a, a major grant from one of the most difficult agencies to get money from uh, to specifically study this in the community setting here at Baptist. In addition, uh, we are um, part of the national network of organizations conducting clinical research trials uh, for patients with cancer to try to understand and develop better treatments. We're doing that independently, and we're also doing that in conjunction with our major academic partner, the Vanderbilt Ingram Cancer Center in Nashville. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Edge, for being here with us today. Obviously, BMG has a lot of opportunities uh, for patients. And again, today's program is about screening for cancer. So stay tuned, and we're going to have some other experts that we're going to talk about screening procedures as well as some patients that have gone through those procedures. This is Dr. Mark Castellaw with Health Matters.